brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to remove and reinstall the front bumper cover on this 2003 Nissan Maxima. Pretty much the same for any 2000 to 2003 Maxima. Uh, tools you'll need are a flat blade screwdriver, uh, a Phillips screwdriver, and a 10 millimeter socket with a ratchet and probably about a 2 inch extension. Okay, with the hood open, you'll want to remove four clips and you just use a flat blade screwdriver and press in under the middle and pry up the middle of the clip and then it comes out and I'll repeat that for the other three now just fast forward uh, on these clips you, you only want to pop the center up about up about an eighth of an inch uh, pop them up too high and then the set the clips will be hard to get out so you pop up the center about an eighth of an inch and then you can either pull them out or pry up the rest of the clip with your screwdriver Okay, now up underneath, on each side, there's a Phillips screw uh, that's kind of close to the front wheel. And you want to remove it from each side. Okay, and then in addition to that screw, there's a series of these clips again. And I'll remove those. Um, they're here, and then they continue right across the front. Okay, so I'll fast forward again, uh, and these clips can even be more challenging on the bottom because a lot of times they get sand and dirt stuck in them, so they're hard to pry out. Uh, using a little bit of penetrating oil on them sometimes helps. Um, also, if you just have to pry them out and end up breaking them, uh, you can get clips that are a similar style, usually at any hardware store. And once you get the um, screw off from underneath here, then what you'll want to do is just reach right in here and grab your inner fender and push it in and pull it down okay and then there is a and then there's another either Phillips screw or 10 millimeter bolt right up there okay and then looking further a little difficult here just kind of pull the uh, inner fender out of the way and then you can see in further there's another bolt it's hard to show it to you there it is and I'm going to speed up as I remove that first uh, 10 millimeter bolt then I'm going to use a screwdriver and a rag and pry out uh, each of my side marker lights and disconnect them just by uh, pressing a little tab and pulling on the harness uh, and then again with the 10 millimeter socket and ratchet and you can access it through that hole where the parking light was um, remove that second bolt do that for both sides okay so I've got both um, both bolts and the lights out on each side uh, one thing to keep in mind is the fog lights so I'm going to bring my bumper cover forward and as I do that, I'll reach down in. There you go, there's a connector for the fog lights. There's a little button on it. Okay, so you, once you've done whatever you need to do with the bumper cover off, as you can see, or maybe you can tell on this car, we put a new set of headlights in it. Um, put the bumper cover back on. Put it up in place. If you have fog lights, reconnect the fog lights. Uh, then raise the bumper cover up in place and put a couple of the top clips in place to hold it. Okay, and continuing to work at a feverish pace. Um, 
put both the side bolts back up in and through and make sure that you get the sides uh, secured correctly as well as uh, put both front side marker lights back on and once you get everything bolted together make sure you push the inner fender back in where it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be in behind the lip um, around the bumper cover. Okay, now you can see I actually uh, take the lower uh, plastic panels and push them up onto the top of the uh, lower lip of the bumper cover. Um, and what you don't see uh, off camera, I kind of I took all the clips and sprayed a little bit of penetrating oil on them, cleaned them out, and got them to work. Uh, you basically just kind of have to work them back and forth until they will push in and clip in easily. And then you secure all those clips. And make sure you put the um, screws that go on the edge near the wheels uh, on the lower side. Put those back in each, in each side, and you're all set. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.